feet. Now we've resurrected the Cressida from the depths of the forest. We actually pushed it back because it's got no brakes. A wonderful fan in California sent me a master cylinder for it because my master cylinder was seized up and stayed down and kept the brakes on. And it came off a old truck about that age. It's a Toyota, so let's put that on now. Sweet. Changing the brake pads. So yeah, just to let you guys know, I'm the one that called my dad to tell him that he should get that car. So hope you hope you guys enjoy that. And thank me later. Okay, now we're ready to install the California master cylinder under the Cressida. Here's what's wrong with the old one. If you look in there, you'll see the blue piston is down a half inch. Well, that's what happens with this car. Every time you put the brake on, the brake stays on. <laughs> and it's got front brakes only, so that just makes the rear wheel spin and nothing happens. So this one, see the piston works great. It's from dry, sunny California. So now we got to bleed it and reinstall it. Well, our favorite car is finished. It has brakes now. I'll have to go for a ride. Now let me give you an update on that Cheviac. It actually runs perfect. It doesn't have any car problems. As, I get, as soon as I get that redneck hood latch undone, I'll show you. Except they're watching me again, and this time they shut their motor off so I wouldn't notice them, but it didn't work. So here's the issues at hand. This car has no inner fender wells. Almost whatsoever. On both sides. So every time I went through a big splash, all the water went into the carb, as you can see the mud on the choke in that. It soaked the spark plug wires. As you can see the distributor cap is covered in mud. And the wires and spark plugs on this side too are all mudded. So, ingesting muddy water. And muddy water shorts out wires a lot better than clean water. So every time I got her wet, she misfired, but when she's not wet, she's running great. Don't believe it. So, I did clean my carb last fall. That's why she's running so good when she's not wet. So everything's sweet. I just forgot to put an air filter on that day. But, as you can see also, totally smooth rear tires. Well, no wonder she wouldn't go in the mud. Didn't even notice before I took off. And the old pig she is, kind of front end heavy too. But now we got the Cressida going and it's the master of the mud. <laughs> so, so, exactly 24 hours later, the road's getting close to be submerged. And there's a lot of water in my lake already from that spring over there. Plastic bottles are floating. Raft is floating. Boats are sinking. <laughs> Works so well, can't get over it. All for free. Sweet. Nothing but complaining, eh? Well, there's my slide repair. I couldn't unattach the welded on floating barrel, it was rusted out. So, I've made a bracket where I have two barrels welded together. I jacked up the movable slide, floated the two barrels over, slipped them under, and it locked in place. Perfect. And Sam Shelton from Gig Harbor, Washington, one of my devoted fans, sent me that Canada flag last year that he's had sitting around he didn't know what to do with in the United States. I did install it last year and make a video, but unfortunately the camera screwed up and the tape played back all garbled so I couldn't use it. But, thank you, Sam. Now, here's what it looks like on my platform on the island. Now, remember, I made this thing out of almost all recycled materials. That black wood on the floor was part of a marijuana grow room that some landlord took out of his house when the tenants moved out. Garbage pick beach furniture. A little bar fridge I got for free because we do have electricity here. A free donated slide. Commercial. 
switches for the lights, switch for the water that runs down the slides, runs up those hoses. Two levels to the second story now, or the upper class. The wind took off my umbrella. And of course an entrance to the upper slide. The fast one. Right in line with Sky Hill. Cool. Not very often I get to ride a motorcycle to the island. Certainly won't be able to tomorrow. Water will be all the way across that laneway, I'm sure. Got my speakers for the stereo system covered in plastic. Stereo system's under the floor, it stays here all winter time. Keeps working. I'll show you. So, if you want some tunage, you walk this way. And you see all my wires hanging, my power outlet, there's the tuner, the amp, the multi-disc CD. Sits here all year round, no problems. I wish those damn things would fly back to the states where they came from, even though they're called Canada geese. Because look what they did to my raft. That sucks. That feels like shit between your toes.